Oh, he came to seek the. He would, he would no, no. seek me out because I would lost. No, no. Jesus, you have to. It's conditional. He would seek the lost, yeah. right? It's conditional. The lost sheep should accept him, and you're not the lost sheep of Israel. Okay? So the lost sheep of Israel, if they acknowledge him as the Messiah and they worship the true God, the God of Jesus, then yes, then they are the ones who are considered to be people who God would accept and acknowledge. But if you're going against Jesus Christ himself by, by believing the church about the Trinity and accepting him as a God or a Lord, someone who's divine, who's not actually divine, he's just a man, even though he had some special powers and abilities which he God granted divine? him. He, he said he divine. was divine. No, he never said he was divine. No, he said he was divine. Well, he never. He says I'm divine. You are the branch. He doesn't say that. No, he doesn't say that. I think your church been telling you lies. He says I am the vine and you are the branch. No, he says, no one, he says I'm the only. Apart from you, you can do nothing. Yeah. Jesus says that. No, Jesus says I can of myself do nothing. As I hear, I obey. Okay. You can you can Google it. No problem. He never said he's divine ever. No, the vine. Oh, the vine. Okay. No, the. Vine. Yeah, I am the vine, and you are the branch. And apart from me, you could do nothing. What was that going to be divine? I said the vine. I was talking about divine. I know what you were talking about. Why did you get the joke? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Unless you want some wine now. <laughs> I didn't say anything about wine. Okay. What does he mean by no good? Okay. By apart from me, you can I do should, nothing. Does he believe Jesus to be God? Ah, uh, he's flip flopping still. I'm not flip flopping. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. I believe Jesus is God. Yeah, That's Jesus. what I believe. Oh, so you you are flip flopping. I'm not. Earlier you said he was not God. I said according to you he's not God. Okay, so you do believe in the Trinity then? I told you I do. Okay, so you believe the church, not Jesus then? According to you, yes. Not according to me, according to Jesus, John 7 and 3. No, Look Jesus it up. says, Jesus said, I believe John when John says the word was God and the word was with God. Yeah, the word is a command, not Jesus. Well, that's what you say. Well, you, how can you, okay, you couldn't well, interpret. You did, no, no, wait, you just said that. Where does it say that the word is means command. You said that. I didn't say that. It doesn't say it's Jesus either. In the beginning was the command? Yes. Why not? Oh, because the command hasn't always existed. The command is always with no, God no, 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 because no, no, it's no, no, His no, no. command. The command hasn't always existed. God has, right? Command is not a person. You, you're using command, not me. Yeah, I know, but it makes sense because it never makes sense if Jesus is God and then it says with God. So where is, where is God? How can you be with God if you're already God? What is John saying? You don't believe what John says. Is what no, I'm, I'm interpreting John not the way you, not the Trinitarian way, which your church taught you, but the way that we, I as a Muslim have been taught. Okay, but and how did, what does that And mean? it makes more sense from the okay. Islamic perspective than for you to say Jesus is God, but then he's with God. How can you, you have, have two, two gods? gods? Yeah, just like you can have a yoke, you can have a, a yoke and a shell. Yeah, but the yoke is not an egg. Jesus, you usually he's God, and then he's with God. Yeah, do you have an egg? You have a yoke? You have a shell? Or you have the, oh, I don't know. You know why that analogy is actually modalism? Which is actually a heresy in Christianity? Because the yoke by itself is not the egg, do you agree? The yoke by itself is not the egg. The shell by itself is not the egg. Oh, okay. so if you, when you break the egg and, yeah, you, it's a, it's and a, you separate the yolk, are you going to call the no, yolk no, egg? No. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a metaphor. All, all illustrations have an end point. You can't. You that's can't why. Get the, the it's analogy. Like your family ones, like we're all equal, but we're yeah, not. I all know, equal. but but the your analogy, analogy points to a heresy, not to God. It's called it's called modalism, where each individual person has their own role, according to modalism. That means sometimes the father is acting as as the son. Sometimes the same. Entity is acting as the Holy Spirit, but it, they believe that's one person. Yeah. Just like the way you believe is one egg. Yeah. So your example is actually a heretical belief, not the Trinity. An example can't be a, a, a heresy. So don't bring a bad example, then. bad eggs. <laughs> but an example isn't a heresy. No, no. This example leads to a heresy. Oh, it can lead to a heresy. I don't know. I'm just using an example. That example actually points to a heresy. Because modalism is where they are, really, they are really where God ex acts as different modes. What? Yeah. yeah, how can the word, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God. If the word is God, then how can the word be with God? Unless you don't know what God is. Maybe John was really confused, I don't know. John didn't write John, you know. That is actually the words of Philo of, of Alexandria. File okay, of Alexandria. So I, so I yeah, you need to know these things. No, no, no. What I don't understand is when you can't. How can you go Bible, against? You know, you're going on all these ambiguous, um, confusing yeah, statements. I'm about, yeah. When I'm giving you an explicit statement from John 73, where he say, where Jesus himself says that this is eternal life, that they may know you, 
the Father, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Yeah, and he also so says, Jesus, no one comes to the Father except through me. It's got nothing to do with God. That's called how you go through to God. Not God. Okay, so the identity of God is who? According so wait, to wait, Jesus, wait, wait, wait. the Father. So why did he say no one goes through the Father except through me? We've been through this all. I know you I know you hung up with that, but it doesn't it's got it nothing. Doesn't it doesn't matter it does, what you No, no, it got nothing to do with the identity of God. It's not the destination. Going yeah. Okay, yeah, but, but how do you got, get, how do you I just told him many times yes, that know, during the time of Jesus, get, he was the way. During the time of Moses, Moses was the way. Was the way. You don't need said. to. You don't need to have Moses explicitly saying those words I, because anyone who dis disobeyed Moses at that time, what happened to them? The plague was visited on them. Yes, and that's wait, how wait, you wait, know. Wait, wait, wait. You that's how you know the true. The true way that Moses led. Wait, you're talking here. Wait, 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 wait. We agree on something. I want to talk about what we agree on. What do we agree on? You said Jesus was the destination, not the. Not no, the he God. was the way, not the destination. Yeah. Oh, he's the way, not right? the destination. I agree. So we agree. Jesus yeah. is the way. Yeah. So to get that. But get, I never, I never disagree with that. No, I think you do. No. If you, if you watch the, if you watch the video, so, I've repeatedly said that. So Jesus said that. is the way to God. At that time, yes. No. Eh, you keep on throwing the disclaimer. Do you not understand? Why I Moses is the way? Why Abraham was the way? Moses why never Jesus said he was, was the way. Yeah, I've already explained that. You no, don't no, need no, to say. You it. keep saying Moses said he was the way. He's not okay. the way. So, let me ask you. Jesus said he's the way. Let me ask you this. Wait. Answer my question. I did already, but you were not listening. Now, did Jesus say he was the way? Yes, he was during his time. Okay, but you keep on saying Moses is the way. Okay. Moses didn't say he was during the way. During the time of Moses, no, don't who was the way? God was always the way. No, God is the destination. You keep flip flopping. I'm not flip flopping. You are. Okay, once again. Jesus is the way. During the time of Moses, no, 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 who was the way? The way. Jesus he didn't want to listen to logic. No, he just says, passion, he so says no one comes to the Father. At his time, I agree, yeah. Okay, so you I never disagreed at this time, he was the way. No, you keep on saying at this time. Of course, at this time. Can God have a God? I want to ask you, can God yes. have a God? God can't have a God. Did Jesus have a God? Did Jesus have He worshiped God the Father. No, but did he have a God? He yes, was God. No, I'm no he wasn't God. He, he never said God. he was God. He is God. That's why he is. There's a verse in the Bible that tells you whether he had a God or not. Do you know? Well, he had a God? Yeah, yeah he is God. Jesus he himself said, Jesus said, I have said a God. he prayed to God the Father. Did yeah. Jesus ever yeah, say but he, did, he did not ask you if Jesus had a God. He asked you, was Jesus a God? A God, according to you. Yes. So if Jesus was a God, can this God have a God? Can this God have a God? No. But he did. He is. According to but the he Bible, did have a God. Okay, yes. So you're going against your own principle again. Did you know what again. Jesus said, whether he has a God or not? Did you know whether Jesus ever said, I have a God or I don't have a God? No, he did. He just said, we have, he came to show to point people to God. No, did Jesus himself? Not to himself. Yeah, Jesus said that. He came to point people to God. Which no, God? No, no, no. Did he himself say, I have a God? That's what I'm asking. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know that. Know. But can we quote to you where Jesus himself yeah. said, I have a God? It, it wouldn't change me anything for me. So you would not even listen to Jesus. So if he himself, no, because what I'm saying is, when Jesus came, what you're saying is, what you're saying is, you're going based on the church, not on Jesus. No, I'm telling you what I'm. Every I, time Jesus, I'm only going on. Based every on time the Jesus Bible. is, Jesus actually says something, you go against it. <laughs> no, I don't. Just like when he says, I am the. When he says, you're I am the. stuck way. on that. Oh, I'm stuck on what Jesus said. You're stuck on something. Jesus. No, but I'm stuck. I'm actually. But wait, I just said Jesus said this, and you said, oh no, but he doesn't really mean it that way. Okay, first and foremost, you need to calm down. All right, let's have a calm discussion. <laughs> All right, because you you seem agitated. I don't know why. When Jesus, when we are talking I'm, about, because I'm a simple man, well, well, and, and you're, you're saying things in your way. Do you smart do I look like a complex man? No, you don't. I'm a simple man. As but you, but you're very are. You're very. You're too smart for me, and so I. Have well, to, you don't need to say that. Uh, we are all, alhamdulillah. We all have the. Uh, we're we all, all have humble, brains. We're not all equal. It's all how it's how you use it. <laughs> <laughs> we're all humble like a family, but we're yeah. not all equal. I know the I know the analogy. Uh, you learned something. Yeah, I learned good, it. Good. I learned alhamdulillah. It and we're all equal, but you're kind of dumb. But you? No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. You, you, you're still the head of the family. Ah, I believe that. Doesn't matter what you think of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if don't tell my wife. Uh, sh if she watches YouTube, yeah. I don't let her watch TV. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> Maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> okay, so what I'm saying is that I'm focusing on the identity of God. Yeah. And you're talking about the way to God. Okay. Two different things. Okay, so okay. let's talk about let's just talk about the way to God then. Okay, so let's talk. If you want to talk about that, yeah, let's talk but about my, that. My answer is going to be the same. Yeah. Jesus said that, but it was only for a time. Yes. Oh, okay. his time, yeah. I don't accept that answer. Yeah. And you don't accept my answer. That's fine. That's fine. You're, you're entitled to your opinion? Yeah. And I'm entitled right. to mine. Yeah. Now let's focus on the identity, shall we? We already worked it. Yeah, I think that Jesus is God, that he could come and he could still, he came to show what, what we should live like and how we should live and how to, how to worship. That's why I believe he came. What's, what about the identity of God? 
Yeah. Who is God? Who is God? Who is God? Yeah, yeah, yeah God. I don't know. I don't, you don't like know? Me. You don't know? God, the Father? Even after Jesus told you, you don't know? But when you say who is God, wait, in what sense? But Jesus, Jesus. Who is God? When I ask you who is God? So when Jesus... Who is God? The God of Jesus. Okay, great. Do you agree with that? Sure. Good, so we are, we are fine then. I already said we are that. Okay, so if, if, if you believe in the God of Jesus, yeah. then G it disqualifies Jesus as God. Because okay. there can only be sure. one God. Sure. Do you agree? No, I don't agree. See what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. He rejects Jesus, doesn't matter what. Because you have, you, you have been brainwashed by the church I'm to such an extent that you would, you would reject even the testimony of Jesus. How can you unbrainwash me? No, How can I? You need to listen to Jesus, no, not the church. Which church you that, brain, that brainwash him? Ask him. <laughs> I don't go to his church. What I'm saying is that when you have a clear, explicit statement from Jesus Christ about the identity of the only true God, and yet you reject it, then to be honest with you... I didn't reject anything Jesus said. No, no. When Jesus says, and he points to the Father as the only true God, and Jesus Christ is the Christ, when he tells you clearly that who the only true God is... What does Jesus mean when he says, when you've seen me, you've seen the Father? What does he mean by that? Yeah, what he means by that is that they have the same purpose. That if you have seen me, I've been with you all this time. I've been teaching you about God all the time. And yet you're questioning me to show us the Father. Sorry, to show us God. Right. Because he said the exact same thing, you know. So what does he mean? But he says if you yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. When you, you know when, uh, when, when um, sorry, when he says I and the Father are one. Yeah. Do you remember that passage? Yeah. Yes. He also says in John 17, 22. What does he mean by that? Yeah, it means we have the same purpose. And this Why is. Why did he just say that then? Because he spoke in parables. But, but when I say, but when he, when actually, he, that's a good statement, you know. No, but when, when, when Jesus when, always spoke in parables, according to the Bible, yes. Whereas Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi always spoke directly. So you don't need to, you know, beat around the bush. You need, you got the answer I clearly. Know, again, right and a simple man like you or a simple man like me will understand a direct message. I know, but right now you're, clearly. Saying, you're just you're playing favorites again when you said that, that they're all equal. I'm talking about how the Bible know, portrays. No, no, you just said that Jesus always spoke in parables, which are not good. Based and we, on your Bible. Like, Oh, not on the Quran. Oh. Okay? So the reason the Bible always portrays... I can't, I can't, it's hard to... Here's it real quick though. Yeah, yeah. You have to admit, it's hard to me, like if, if the Bible is wishy-washy and it doesn't, and it's not accurate, then 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 why are you using it to, to stump me on Because that's all you yeah. believe in. That's not all I believe in. Okay, have you read the Quran? I have this Quran. No, have you read I, it? No. I, I just okay, got so, I'm not that fast so, of a so reader. If I'm quoting the Quran, which I did many times when I showed you about Jesus being blessed, Mary being blessed, Okay, yeah. Jesus being the Messiah. Yeah, I'm he, taking your word for yeah, it. Yeah, so right? many of those things actually they coincide with what's in the Bible. Okay, that's so great. we use the Quran as our criteria okay. to identify which passages in the Bible are true. Okay, so but, but that's what I'm saying. So I can tell you something, but it doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter what I say to you about the Bible because you can just say, yeah, but that part's not. No, but you reject the Bible anyway. I reject the Bible. Yes. Okay, I don't. think Because when tell Jesus me tells you who the only true God is, you reject it, and you say, you believe in the Trinity, you believe in the Church. When, the, when no one in the Bible ever worshipped a triune God, none of them, no prophet, no messenger, no Jesus, no his, none of his apostles. Paul didn't worship Jesus? Paul did not worship Jesus, no. Oh, not as God, as, at least not as Almighty God. Oh. Yes, there were different ways. You know the term God itself? In the Bible, Jesus tells the Jewish people that you are gods. And he says, he's pointing to Psalm 82, 6, where God called them children of the Most High. Yeah. Yeah, they are gods and children of the Most High, both of them. Right. So they were not only called children of God, but they also called God. But what does the term God mean? Again, the term God, depending on the context of the Bible, right. it can be false God, yeah. because the term Elohim is also used right. for false gods. Right. The term Elohim is used for the true God. Right. The term Elohim is used for humans right. and for angels as well. Okay. So this term can be used and misinterpreted as well. I agree with that. And, and there's a reason when Jesus says, that the only true God is the Father. He not only uses the term God, but he also uses the term only true God. And then he points to the Father only. One person or three persons? How many, how many persons is the Father? What, is it, what does he mean when, when he says that the Spirit's coming after him? That I'm leaving and I'm, I'm going to give you, I'm leading you guys with the He says the parakletos. Parakletos means the, uh, uh, the what, what's the term parakletos normally they, they mean? They use the, uh, the vice gerent or the uh, the ambassador who's going to come. Yeah, the spirit. Yes. So yeah. the, the paracletos which he's talking about, he says, until I go, he will not come. Right. Yes. So is that, so if is he that... was 
if he was is that part of God or if, no? if he that? was the Holy Spirit what is that what is that thing I don't, I, I'm asking what it is I, I, I personally believe the paraclete is the next messenger of prophet he was talking about the next one to come after him Baha and that was prophet Muhammad peace be upon him because he says I have many things to say to you you can yeah. obey them now yeah. but the comfort yeah. of truth should come and it should guide you to all truth so the paracletos or the comforter uh, which is correctly uh, the, the, the translation so Muhammad is the comforter? yes and also Pro Prophet Muhammad sallam, he came with me. Jesus says I have many things to tell you now but you cannot bear them he the comforter when he comes he will lead you into all truth now you tell me what is the truth that the Holy Spirit brought to you? Because many Christians think the paraclete is the Holy Spirit. What is it that the Holy Spirit brought to you which Jesus did not already bring? Anything new? What do you mean? Anything because he says, I have many things. Jesus said, I have many things to tell you now, but you cannot bear them. When he, the, the paracletos comes, he will lead you into all truth. Yeah. So what is it that the Holy Spirit brought to you which Jesus did not bring? Christians fruit? can't answer this question. They don't know. I mean, I did, the answer the, the Bible says the fruit of the Spirit is peace, love, patience, kindness. That's what it did says. Did Jesus not bring any of that? That's not. But Jesus says, I have many things to say. That means something other than what he already preached. Right? Okay, he, pro he, he did preach peace and kindness and all these things which he just mentioned. So, what is it that he did not preach? Muhammad. No. There are things that. I don't know. <laughs> there, are, there are things that. I thought I was the there, right answer. There are things that. Uh, <laughs> No, I said with the Holy Spirit brought no, to you. Did the Holy Spirit bring Prophet Muhammad to you? I know then you're asking, a Muslim. He's asking what did you believe the apparently who was the yeah. Holy Ghost. Yeah. So what has the Holy Ghost brought that Jesus has not brought? He's asking. Exactly. Yeah. Jesus, when Jesus left, yeah, the Spirit came and people were filled with the Spirit. People weren't. Filled. I'm asking what is the new thing that the Holy Spirit got brought to you? What did he teach you? Something new other than what teach, uh, Jesus oh, the already taught you. The Spirit gives us the, the, the way to understand. So that, that apart from the Holy Spirit, they can't understand. I'm asking for something new which Jesus preached. I don't. Sorry, which Jesus did not preach that the Holy Spirit brought to you. The answer is nothing. That's the answer. That's the reason. What? Continuity. Yeah. What continuity? Continuity. Yeah. So what, when when Jesus says someone like him, okay, that's what he's trying to say. He's trying to. Say, so he's talking about Muhammad. Right? Yes, he's talking about the next messenger to come. Say by his name. He, he doesn't need to. He speaks in parables. Remember, in your Bible. I know, in my Bible. And and by the way, I personally do not think that the Bible has been preserved. Okay? okay? That's fine. And the reason I say that is because you don't even have the early manuscripts of the Bible. Okay, most of the Bible is written after the 4th century. Some say after the 9th century, depending on which scholar you ask. Is that? Right, but the Old Testament is the same thing. That, all the Old Testament is the same thing. That, no, it's not. Old Testament is... Well, the, the Old Testament, in terms of reliability, is even worse than the New Testament. Okay, but, but that's because the different you me that's where your religion because came the gap. No, who told you that? You just said Abraham, the father, all those, all that stuff. Ooh, that's in the that Bible. comes from the Quran, not from the Old Testament. But the Quran came way oh, later. Yeah, okay. So what? The, the, how, but how can you have a? Wait, wait. What does time factor got to do when God gives you the message directly? Uh, I guess hey, exactly. Okay, it's got okay, nothing that, to do. That doesn't work with the Bible. Why not? No, that's what. No, you're saying it doesn't work with the Bible. No, no I'm saying the, the Bible. Quran is infallible. I'm, later. I'm saying the Bible scholars themselves say that the manuscripts which came much later, yes, we cannot. Yet, I, we cannot go back to what the actual Abraham words of Jesus. Later than that. Was that? But the stuff that you have about Abraham came later than that. The Quran. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Here's the difference. When Jesus came with the message of God. Okay, he did not write it down in the New Testament. Yeah, I know that. So there was no New Testament yeah, around. I know that. The New Testament was written much later. Correct. Do you agree? I agree. Okay, now compare this with the Quran. When the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the first thing he said to his scribes is to write it down. Yeah, but how can and he, then he memorized, sorry, the first thing is he memorized it. How can he and write down about Abraham and Isaac and all that? Because if God gives you the information okay, well, directly, okay, well, how do you know. think Moses knew about Adam after so many thousands of years? Yeah. By, by God. But it was written down. Yeah. But I you just so. said that part of the Bible doesn't... It was, no, I'm saying during the time of Jesus, nobody wrote it down. But, but the Bible, I'm talking about the Bible as a whole. You're talking about the New Testament. Okay, so the Bible as a whole, first and foremost, where are the writings of Moses? Or even within 100 years of his time? Where are the writings of Abraham? We don't need writings of Abraham. We have got the Quran. What is, do you different. not realize what I'm saying here? No, I don't. I'm, I don't. Okay. I don't get it. Okay. How do you know about Abraham? Let's let's let's. How do you know about Let's Abraham? backtrack one. Wait. How do you know Sorry, about Abraham? Sorry. Let's let's From take the a Quran, few steps right? back. Yes. So for us, where was that writing? Wait, wait. You need to understand that when a message comes to the prophet and a messenger, the message is directly revealed to him. Okay, through an angel, obviously. Now, 
this message is memorized by the messenger yeah. and then it's conveyed to other people yeah and they write within down. within 100 years of the Pro prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi we still have manuscripts available to this day within do you have any manuscripts within the 100 years of of jesus or moses no you don't well, within a hundred years? Yes, yes you do. no, you don't. Yes, you do. Yeah. What manuscripts? Paul, Paul was writing stuff that fifty years after. His Where are the manuscripts? Right. Where's your name? I don't have it. But like in a museum. I don't have know. you researched it? Yes. Okay. What's the name of the manuscript? Like the Dead Sea Scrolls? Oh, that's of the Old Testament or the New Testament? There's no. There's parts of the New Testament in there. No. 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 The Dead Sea Scrolls. The Dead Sea Scrolls are at least. 11 to 1200 years after Moses. Yeah. So you got a gap yeah. of more than a millennia. Not 100 years. No, 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 no. More no. than a thousand There's years. There's parts of the New Testament in there. No, it's the Old Testament only. No, they were nice. No, yes, you should go and research it, my friend. Okay? We all know this. So, know yeah, you can Google it, no problem. Okay? I'm a double The New Testament, the New Testament. Will you at least, uh, if it's true, will you at least admit that you're wrong? No, you won't. You, 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 you go back. When I'm saying this, I believe that I don't know what I'm talking about. That's why I'm going to do this. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yeah. So the Old Testament. Yeah, I can tell you this: that Paul was writing 50 years. Paul's writings are 50 years from his from his time of his life. Paul ever meet? And that's that's less than 100 years of Jesus's life. How is that you evidence when you don't have the manuscripts? Wait, you said there's no manuscript. Yeah, if you don't have evidence, then it's no evidence. I can't just go based on your claim that he wrote 50 years after. Even 50 I'm years, that's half. But Half a century, your, you know. But I'm going off your claim. Asking me for no, but I have I have evidence of manuscripts. If you want, I can show it to you. The physical evidence is still there. We have two modes of uh, uh, transmission of the Quran. One is the actual manuscripts, and the other is the oral transmission. You know, the Muslims they memorize the Quran from cover to cover. Are you aware of that? Yeah. Yes. We got at least 15 to 17 million Muslims. Any time of the year, uh, it's really impressive. Yeah, and no other, no other Bible, sorry, no other uh, scriptures which considered to be holy are, cons are actually memorized like that, unlike the Quran, which itself is a miracle actually, because even the non-Arabs they memorize the Quran. You're right. It stops at Psalms. They have Psalms. Thank you very much. You're very smart. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I don't make up things. I, I make sure I research it before I proclaim it. Because that's the way you should you're do really it. Smart. Yeah, it's not about smart. It's getting the evidence for what you're claiming. That's all I'm asking. When somebody makes a claim, provide the evidence. Okay. And by the way, the Old Testament, like I said, there's a gap of a millennia. How can you believe any of that? Because it's even a bigger gap from when the prophet wrote it down. But you're just saying it's divine, so it's a okay. get out of jail free card. So the gap. Don't, don't use don't use archaeology as a as a. You can't use archaeology as a. As a, as a scapegoat for me. It's not a scapegoat, it's evidence. Yeah, but, but it's evidence, evidence it's evidence against the claims you make. Well what's the evidence that, that, that Muhammad was right when he wrote what he wrote down? Because we don't have one manuscript, we have both several. And they can all be cor uh, corroborated. But, 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 but wait, he's writing something that happened, that happened more than a millennia he, by, by the before way, he existed. By right? the way, he did not write it down. The scribes wrote okay, it down. But, and but, we have we But it's writing something down more than a millennia than when it happened, correct? Yeah. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about the Dusty Scrolls. No, I'm talking about what is written about Abraham in the Quran. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that. The direct revelation came. The direct revelation about what happened way before, right? Yeah. What's wrong okay. with that? Well, that it's, if Moses, the manuscripts are millennia. Okay. It was did Moses a millennia years after? Listen. But, but this is did, after. did Moses live in the time of Adam? What's that? Did Moses live no. in the time? How many thousands so of I'm years? Not using, I'm not using that as a scapegoat. You are. It's not a scapegoat. It's called evidence. Did, was was, was, was the prophet Muhammad around the time of Adam? If the message came directly from God? No, was he around the time of Adam? I'm answering you if you, re, if you relax. Was he around the time relax, of Adam? Relax, I'll answer. No, you relax. No, you're the one who's worked no. up, not me. Oh, jeez. Okay, step so step, if Moses, if Mo, it's the same, the same analogy I'm giving you with regards to Moses, like yeah. that of Moses, the yeah. message came to him directly from God. I agree. He didn't with that. need to live in the time of Adam. Yeah, I agree. So when the message comes to you directly yeah. from God, then God knows history. Okay, okay. And whatever God yeah, sees is that. true. I agree with that. Similarly, if the message came directly to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, why does time matter? Yeah, when God knows matter. exactly, that's okay. what I'm telling you. So, so let's, I'm let's agree on that. Way, but no, but I say if, if the people who are divine and writing direct revelation from God in the, in the New Testament, then it doesn't matter. No, but you're saying they were writing. Where are these writings? 
We have the writings for the Quran. Wait, do you have the writings? writings for the do you have writings? No, not after, not not until hundreds of years after Jesus. Hundreds of years. No, what's 150 years is only a fragment. P52. So, wait, so no one wrote anything down? No, they wrote, but maybe it's lost. I don't know. That's up to you guys to to deal no, with. The, it's your you, it's your problem, not wait, mine. When they when they wrote it down, no, it's not a problem. No, it is a problem if you don't have evidence. What do you mean? Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why it matters. When you, do you make know how a, many manuscripts there are of that, do you know how many uh, manuscripts there are that we know uh, about Caesar Augustus? How many? How many? No. Do, do you think he existed? Does it matter to me? I don't know. Do you believe he existed? But does it matter whether he exists for me or not? It doesn't matter to me because my well, it because in because time my and history. no no because, because you're talking about manuscripts yeah, equal. If we were taking true. a history exam, it would matter. But my what I'm dealing here with is the afterlife. My afterlife doesn't depend whether Julius Caesar lived or not. My afterlife doesn't depend if, if, if it depends if, on your manuscripts. No, it doesn't. Oh, so you don't believe in manuscripts? No, in, no. in your books, then? I didn't say you don't believe in manuscripts. So you don't believe in your books? You're talking circular now. It doesn't make I'm not talking sense. circular. Yeah, when, you, when you're going to say that your books are not reliable... No, no. Then you're saying that my books are not reliable. I never said Okay, that. so on what basis are they reliable? You don't have the manuscripts. You don't have the oral tradition. Because they're divine revelation from God. Say again? Because they're divine revelation from God. Yeah, but that was to Jesus. No, no. And Jesus did not write down anything. We've been through this already. Muhammad didn't write down anything. He, he had his scribes write it down. Oh, Jesus has scribes. Why is there? Name me one uh, scribe. Why do I need evidence? In the time of Jesus, there was no New Testament. Uh, so what scribes are you Testament. talking about? Of course there was no New Testament. What scribes? No, the New Testament was written much later. What? Who wrote Jesus' words? <laughs> Why is this guy arguing for the sake of argument? You know, you know you haven't researched this. You, look how many steps he went back. At least six. <laughs> Come forward. Oh, because I told you I had to go an hour ago. Yeah, I know, but you were still there an hour. Okay, not, look. No, look. It's, weird. it's weird I got this far because all we've been doing is going in circles. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you are going in circles up there, maybe. I know. No, I already right. told you I'm not smart. Hey, thank you for your time. No problem. What's your name, buddy? Thank you. My name is Fulton. Fulton, and I'm, I'm Hashim. Humbled. Yeah, you took the time. By the way, the read the Quran, and next time we have a discussion on the Quran, how about that? Well, I have a lot of reading to but do. Never, never One chapter at a time. Never if you have a larger print, I'm old. <laughs> Get it glasses, man. <laughs> <laughs> you look yeah, These ones haven't even worked. No, no sunglasses. It's the blind leaving Proper. the blind. <laughs> Alright, thank, right, thank you. Uh, Take yeah, care. Alright, Jazakallah khair, brothers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Don't forget to subscribe to Dawah Weiss.